welcome to the creative city before we start please subscribe so that this channel can grow and i can keep making videos also please share and like this video and channel so that other people can see these awesome videos and subscribe also check out my merchandise they are in the links in the description and i have previews of them at the end of each video in this video i am painting a piece of cake here is my canvas which is what i'll be painting the piece of cake on and it gives me a second and i've got the drawing on give me a second to paint the background and here i am back with the background on so the piece of cake is on a black plate which is on a wooden table with a purple wall behind it the first thing I'm going to paint on the cake is the bread part of the cake. I took a sponge and dotted the bread of the cake with a vanillish yellow color. Then I added some warm brown to make the bread part of the cake look a little bit more crumbly. This will also help make it look a little bit more three-dimensional. Now I'm going over the frosting of the cake just to make sure it stays a nice white color. I decided to repaint the bread of the cake because it gotten too dark. I added a line of gray right under my white triangle. This is supposed to be the thickness of the frosting. It is gray because it is in the shadow, so it should be darker than on the top where light is hitting the frosting. I also painted the frosting in the middle of the cake gray because just like the frosting above it it is not getting enough light to be white now i'm going back and darkening the breadth of cake that is cast in the shadows so it will be darker because no light is reaching it Now I'm using paint pens to create a basic layer of sprinkles on top of the cake. Then I went over the sprinkles with acrylic paint to change up their color a little bit. Then I took darker versions of each color of the sprinkles and I outlined the edge of the sprinkles with the color. This is supposed to be at the back of the sprinkles where the light is not reaching them. Now I'm taking gray and I'm doing little gray lines behind the sprinkles. This is supposed to be the shadow that they cast. The idea is that since the light is slanted, the sprinkles are cutting off some of the light, making that one area darker. This will definitely help the cake come more alive. Mm -hmm. 
now i'm adding the candle i started by just adding this orange rectangle which will be more or less the body of the candle Now I'm adding red curving lines. These are usually included on birthday candles on a cake, which is the type of candle I am doing. Now I'm adding the flame. The flame kind of forms around the candle and then it goes up and thins out. Now I'm darkening the top of the candle and drying the candle wick up. The candle wick does not touch the flame at all. Now I'm adding the shadow of the candle. Also, FYI, how long your shadow is and at what angle all of your shadows are at depends on how high or low your light is and at what angle it is. Here's my finished painting of a piece of cake. I really like it and I hope that you do too.